Hey everyone, uh, I'm going to share what I sent Melissa. Um, she picked Empire Records. It was that or Pretty Woman. And I wasn't feeling Pretty Woman. Um, it's as part of the Chick Flick Swap hosted by Roxy and Angela. Um, at first I don't think I've seen Empire Records before. It's from 1995. Um, but I had a really odd sense of deja vu when I was watching the movie, so I have a feeling I've seen it, but I just didn't remember it very much. Uh, but I wanted to challenge myself and not do, you know, uh, something as familiar as Pretty Woman. So, uh, Empire Records is, uh, set in a record store. CDs, you know, cassettes, that kind of thing. Um, it reminded me a lot of, like, the 90s kind of grunge era. There's a lot of flannel. You know, you can tell mini skirts, you know, all of that. So, um, Liv Tyler is the star. Renee's, Renee Zellweger's in it. Um, a couple other people I recognize. So, uh, let me go ahead and show you what I made her. Um, it was all based on the colors of this um, picture right here. This is the, the main uh, inspiration. So, um, I did the... We have to do a sequence mix. So this is my sequence mix. Um, a lot of peach blues, uh, darker blues. I did that. Um, we had to make a uh, a charm. So uh, this is already packaged, so I'm not going to take it out. But I did make her a charm. Using those similar colors, added some music notes uh, in here, so hopefully that looks good. <laughs> um, I also uh, we had to do a couple embellishments, so here is one of them. I made a shaker tag, because you know I like shaker tags. Um, also has some of the music notes. Um, one of the catchphrases is, is, damn the man, save the empire. Um, so music count is their arrival, and then inside I put a quote that is um, that was big in the movie uh, when they thought they were going to be bought out by uh, Music Town. And that goes there. Um, they also, hopefully, I don't ruin the movie for anyone, but they also were collecting money to try to keep the record company open. So. Um, it looked like, I don't know if it was a Cheeto container or something, and they poured out all the Cheetos, but um, I made a version of that. So I copied the sign that was in the movie, give us your money, and then I put some uh, orange pom-poms in here with real money uh, to represent the orange pom-poms are like the leftover Cheetos that I think are in there. So there's that one. Um, and then before, uh, oh, so... M&M's also played a big part in the movie, so I've got a bag of M&M's. Um, this is just a cute bunny for Easter. I'm including that. Um, and then we had to... Oh, some extras. Uh, they had... One of the girls made buttons for everyone in the, in the, uh, in the movie. So uh, I was able to find someone who made those stickers. And then I didn't want to make buttons, so I just put them on rosettes. And I did not make these rosettes. These rosettes were made by April, uh, April Bolander. She has a shop on uh, Instagram, so these were made by her. I just added the little um, button phrases. So there's two there. Um, and then uh, here is, we had to put it into a bag or a box. Um, so I just found this. So here's a bow. It says no music town. Uh, found a couple more buttons. It's Rex Manning Day to do Damn the Man, Save the Empire. I also included a little um, charm that smells out Mel. I don't know if you can see that. Uh, has the music notes, same colors. So this is what the main uh, 4 by 4 book that we had to make is going into. And let me move all of these out of the way so you can see what I made for the book. Okay, so um, the book didn't have a lot of 
girly elements. So the colors were, I felt, mainly shades of blue, some orange, a little bit of red and black and white, and a tiny bit of burgundy. So um, I went to Joanne's to see if I could possibly find any kind of, you know, like mohair type of blue on her uh, sweater or the flannel pattern on her skirt. And I didn't because it was just too hard to find something specific. So I improvised. Um, here is the cover. So um, it is fuzzy. So I was able to find that. I didn't realize at the time that it wasn't this light blue, but I still like the way it turned out. Uh, we had to decorate the cover. So I was able to find someone on Etsy who made this sticker, Empire Records, since 1959. And if you've seen the movie, you'll recognize every character. It's, it's a super cute drawing. Um, I added some stickers that I found also on Etsy. Uh, they were stickers and really thin, so I backed them on um, heavier cardstock, 110 pound, and then cut them out. So, uh, you know, catchphrases, open till midnight. Uh, I wrote that by hand with a, uh, a Uniglo, I think, the white jelly. They're selling music, but not selling out. Uh, I found some uh, Doc Martens that uh, Liv Tyler's character wears, added some uh, stickles some quarters, you know, just some, some imagery from the movie. So, um, and then I found a picture of a vinyl record and cut those out and added that to my cover. So let's see if I can do this without dropping what's inside. Okay. So I did a kind of, what do you call it? Um, the not evenly this cascade. I can't remember the term at the moment. Um, I did use stickers to write 1.37 p.m. Uh, this time has significance if you watch the movie. Um, we had to make an embellished rosette. So this is what I came up with. Again, these crepe paper are also made by April. Um, I will tag her below also. So Save the Empire. Some more imagery from the sticker set I bought. Um, added another, you know, uh, music note. So that is my, oh, I'm just gonna try to put that back later, my embellishment. Uh, we had to make two dressed up bows. So um, this one, it's a little hard to see maybe, but this one has a music note. This one has two little stars. Uh, this is uh, the sequence mixed color that I used. It's in here. So hopefully those are dressed up enough. Uh, I'm not a bow person if you guys know. This was this part was really really hard. Uh, we had to make, like I said, two embellishments. My other embellishment, my first embellishment was the the shaker card. This one, um, and then my second embellishment is this one. Um, so this comes out. It's a little pocket. It's also uh, one of the records. And another quote is, "We mustn't dwell. No, not today. We can't. Not on Rex Manning Day." Uh, added one of the flare buttons here, just some more imagery that we might have seen earlier. Um, a picture of Rex Manning, played by um, Maxwell Caulfield. And then I added some uh, some music note charms for her. And that just goes in here. Um, and then just a picture of the cast. And then the rest of those buttons, uh, quote unquote slash buttons, made of rosettes that uh, I got from April. So um, that is it. So everything will go into this bag. I hope you guys liked it. I hope Melissa likes it. Uh, this was, like I said, really kind of difficult because it wasn't um, the girlier colors and it was very blue and, you know. So uh, thank you for watching.